Well, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me walking on back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be going over the Mana Spiral for the Bacon Priestess, aka Akasha. So, I hope you like this video. If you do, you leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be a short one because it's literally just Akasha. Uh, though, they did finally confirm that Yasu and, uh, I was going to call her Rat Baby, <laughs> but that is not her name. Uh, Rat Girl Summer is coming to Mitsuhiri. I know her name. <laughs> I just was having some fun. Um, so yeah, let's go over it. As always, this is a Trials of the Mighty um, spiral, as they all are from now on. So I'm going to be kind of curious how, what they do with her, because Akasha has been kind of not great, unfortunately. She was already kind of meh. And then the Hillity came and ooh, just completely tanked her. So let's see what they changed. This was actually a very good spiral for them to, like a character that needed it the most, I would say she would be up there. So we got a uh, Akashic Repose, shareable six. Restores HP to all allies and continues gradually healing over time. Also increases the entire team's strength and grants them over damage. Wow. Over damage. I was expecting a strength imp. <laughs> I wasn't expecting over damage. That's great. Recover potency 44. Skill energy required is 5916. Skill energy required is 17748 when it is a shared skill. Um, special effects are strength plus 15%. Last 60 seconds. Over damage. Last 30 seconds. Potency 50%. Uh, HP regen. Last 15 seconds. Triggers every 2.9 seconds. Potency 35. Uh, Vital Gate creates a buff zone that lasts for 15 seconds and gradually fills the skill gauges of adventurers inside it. When placed, this buff zone will not. This buff zone will deal damage to the enemy, inflicts storm lash, and restores HP to the entire team relative to the amount of damage dealt. Damage 900 over one hit. Skill energy required is 15. Wow, it actually got less. So it used to cost more. Um, skill Charger, it is Storm Lash, lasts 21 seconds, Char triggers every 2.9 seconds. HP Drain, recovers 20% of damage dealt, recovers up to 100% of targeted ma units max HP, and affects the entire team. Co-op ability is Recover Potency, 20%. Chain Co-op ability is Wind, above 10 hits equals critical rate 13%. If a team member is attuned to Wind, increase their critical rate by 13% uh, when the combo count is center higher. Abilities Pursuer of Knowledge fills 100% of skill gauges at the start of quests. In addition, using a skill will grant the user a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 2. After this amp is used, is not used again for 30 seconds. There's a strength amp. Potent Bog Resistance 100% and HP 70% equals healing 17%. Uh, pretty good spiral, I would say. Um, they added a lot. Uh, this is a uh, I would say compared to how she used to be this is uh, this is uh, as far as I'm aware this Skill over here did not used to deal damage. It did not used to give storm lash obviously because it didn't exist back then um, So I think it's an extremely good skill now now there is a problem of Chant <laughs> so if you've ever used Akasha like I have on the AI uh, the AI does not know how to drop her buff zone <laughs> at all, and it just dumps it like right at the beginning of the fight and never anywhere near the enemy, uh, which kind of sucks because you kind of need it near the boss, and she just kind of drops it and goes like, oh no, I'll take advantage of this, thank you. And now that it's an attack, I wonder how the AI will handle it. But if you're in the hands of her, I think you can end up doing some pretty fun stuff with her. Um... The ability, the, the over damage is very nice, and the fact that it's, it's shareable as well. Though it does cost a lot, but I don't know how much the other over damage skills cost, to be fair. Um, a strength amp, it all makes sense. This is a very makes sense-y kind of kit to me. I think she's going to end up being pretty solid. It is going to take a while to actually get her up and running, because, uh, you know, Trials of the Mighty. Which is maybe the worst thing about Trials of the Mighty to me, is that it's a lot of long, long waiting. Um, what was my point with that? There is no other point. But yeah, she looks pretty good. I like her, and I like the Bacon Priestess. So it's a real unfortunate I'm not going to be able to test how good she is until you know the next, I don't know, three months from now. I'm still working on the the first Mana Spirals ever released, and I've been playing on them. Basically, I haven't been using any of the two uh, times two boosters because I don't uh, I don't pay for stuff usually. Well, I pay for multis and you know pick a ticket, but I don't like the idea of paying for 
double drops, I would just actually, you know, play the event itself and do it that way. Not Nothing against the people who do it, obviously, you know. You're the ones keeping the game afloat, not me. <laughs> Never forget that, um, even though if I do have my own specific qualms about the weird relationship between Gotcha and people. Now I'm just kind of dragging on. That's the end of today's video, everyone. You tell me what you think about her. If you're a fan of Akasha, I assume you'll gladly take it. Uh, I'm gladly taking it because I'm a fan of Akasha. I've always liked this unit. That's why I also use her water version. And yeah. So, the end of the video. Goodbye. She's also different from Lowen, which is good. That's something I should have mentioned beforehand because Lowen is kind of the default healer for for wind, just like he is for fire. So making them different from Lowen is good because that would mean that in fights where you don't really need Lowen stuff, she would be better. Now I'm ending the video. Goodbye, everyone.